Hello fellow crazy people who also expect to play video games at the insane 5120x2160p resolution. We are going to see how much GPU horsepower it takes to play Avowed, the new first person RPG from Insidia Entertainment on our ridiculous monitors, because Avowed has a bright and vibrant world that you will want to get the most visual enjoyment out of that you can. Let's start by looking at the base performance without any upscaling or frame generation. Here we are using epic settings with ray tracing on, as it is on by default. At a glance you can see that not even the RTX 4090 is anywhere near hitting 60fps. The 4090 does manage to keep its 1% lows above 30, but it's not providing a good enough experience for variable refresh rate to even activate on most monitors at this resolution. The RTX 4080 and 700 XTX can't even make it to 30fps with their averages. They both manage tight 1% lows, but with such low frame rates, there's no chance of a good experience. Let's see if some quality upscaling can save some of these performance numbers. Turning on quality upscaling for both DLSS and FSR puts the RTX 4090 over the 60fps line, and 1% lows manage to clear 45fps. So anyone playing on a variable refresh rate capable monitor will be able to get a pretty good experience. Staying above 45 FPS at this resolution is critical, as none of the monitors currently available have low frame rate compensation. Which is why even though the 48 and 7900 XTX both clear 45 FPS for their averages, and have 1% lows above 30, their experience is going to be choppier than the same performance on a lower resolution high refresh rate monitor that have low frame rate compensation that allows variable refresh rates to keep working below 45 Hz. Even though the 4090 is the only one to clear 60 FPS that both Nvidia and AMD require for frame generation, we will turn it on for all cards and see how things turn out. One thing to note is the Nvidia cards have game engine level integration for frame generation, where the AMD cards are forced to use driver based AMD fluid motion frames rather than the FSR3 frame generation. The RTX 4090 sees a nearly 50% frame rate increase, crossing the 90 FPS line, with 1% lows well over 60 FPS. The 4080 and 7900 XTX both clear 60 FPS for the average, but while the 4080 stays above 60 for its 1% lows, meaning you should be able to avoid some of the frame gen input lag when turning it on when not hitting the recommended performance. The 7900 XTX is seeing 1% lows that do dip below 60, but stay well above the 45 FPS needed to maintain variable refresh rates. So you're getting a smooth visual performance, but with inputs below 30 Hz, there is some sluggishness in the mouse feel. So despite the higher frame rate, the snappiness is just not there. Let's take a look at the performance uplift of each performance setting. Here we see the RTX 4090 is the only card that can really handle this resolution with aplomb while the 4080 and 7900 XTX aren't quite reaching the performance levels needed. Impressively, the 7900 XTX was running neck and neck with the 4080 despite the game using ray tracing. As an insane person who actually games at this resolution because I'm not loaded enough to have both a separate working computer and gaming computer, what settings am I using? I'm obviously playing using the RTX 4090 with settings on Epic with RT on using the balanced DLSS upscaling setting so that my 1% low stay near my monitor's max refresh rate of 72 Hz and never dips down below the limited variable refresh rate that this monitor offers. This has provided me with smooth gameplay and a good looking image without any of the latency or visual sacrifices that come with frame generation. Thanks for watching. If you like these videos and want to catch some more, please subscribe. The more of you that subscribe, the better the chance for me to get a GPU vendor to send me some test samples. If you have a standard 1440p altwide or a super altwide, those videos are available for you now. If you want to help out in other ways, you can become a member, sign up for my Patreon, or use my Amazon affiliate link in the description below. I'm Scott, and I'll see you next time, altwide fans.